Today I'm going to talk about KDE Neon. Um, this is Plasma 5.16.2 and uh, there's been some recent um, updates uh, to the version and uh, they were able to fix one little issue I had noticed uh, with the um, calculator. It wasn't actually working and uh, now it's actually working, but the image of it is smaller than it used to be, which I'll show you here. So here's the calculator, but it was probably triple the size, uh, more in line with the, um, the uh, calendar, as you can see here. So uh, at least they got it working, and uh, maybe eventually it'll be a little larger image than what they are showing currently. Uh, another uh, snag that I've noticed in uh, with a few upgrades is that when I'm using uh, Baloo, I guess that's the search, um, I don't know if it comes up as Baloo, I doubt it. Yeah, your file search, but it doesn't come up as Baloo. Um, with this enabled, um, I'm getting an error message and there'll be a, a slight reference in the show notes about it. Um, I'm not sure what's causing it, but I assume that'll be fixed in a future version as well. Um, but moving on, uh, what I wanted to show today that about KD Neon is the fact that um, yeah, I hadn't really used global menus in the past, and uh, because I didn't really fully understand it, but it's pretty pretty simple. It just means that the menu is used for everything that you, all your applications will be rendered by one menu and what i've done is put it at the very top in auto hide and at the moment it's blank because nothing is it's not rendering any any particular application so i guess i'll bring up something at least so you can see so if i bring up uh, LibreOffice, you'll see the global menu now and i centered it in in the uh the center of my display because I thought it made more sense to actually center it and in the show notes it'll show how to do that as well but I'm today I'm just gonna really just kinda do an overview and reference my show notes really if you really wanna learn something or do something the show notes should be pretty explicit on how to how to do things so you know, I've centered it I've actually uh, narrowed the size of the um, uh, of the menu as well uh, and then of course you have to be careful depending on how uh, the length of it you might cut off one of your menus so I tried to look at like LibreOffice and I believe um, GIMP take up the most menu uh, space between your file or help uh, you know between the left and the right uh, you can always go in here right click unlock widgets and then go in there and click on the little control knob, which is in the middle of my help, uh, and click there. And then you can see it brings down the panel, and then you can adjust these to go further out or further in. And just be aware that, you know, you play with the arrows, each arrow does it, it operates a little differently. In this case, it would be the bottom arrows that you would use to um, move the, um, to center it or, or well here I'll show you a little bit so if I move it out you can see what it does so I, I have it so it kind of over over steps into the help area and then I'm going to just close it and that's how I have it set at the moment so when you're you know when you've got a particular app open it'll be there in the center now you can put it off to the left or to the right it, it just depends on how it works for you um, I particularly like it in the center um, and then one other thing that I noticed that I didn't know how to do before properly was the task manager. Uh, you'll notice it's in the bottom uh, left. Uh, normally it would be up here at the top and I didn't want it there. I wanted it down towards the left corner because I like my panel in the, on the left and I like everything down out the, on the lower end corner. Now let me, let me lock this. Uh, it wasn't locked. Um, so I've got three apps going. I've got Simple Screen Recorder, uh, LibreOffice Writer that correlates to my notes, and uh, File Dolphin Open or Hidden, basically. 
the moment it's in the task manager. But my focus is to explain to you that the task manager uh, normally is up here and to get it in that location, um, it will be in the show notes. I guess I could explain it, but the, you know, there's just a lot of detail that it takes time to, to show you everything. So the show notes should show you everything. And I, I guess I'll bring that up for you at the moment here. So also <laughs> there's one thing after another to explain. Um, I've done effects, uh, which don't, uh, doesn't demand much of your RAM at all these days. So, uh, matter of fact, it's, it's quite minimal. So, um, but, um, in the show notes here, I was just going to show you, I talk about priorities, uh, doing your updates, uh, methods of doing updates, uh, enabling a firewall. Uh, I believe UFW is already installed. Um, how to, you know, it talks about positioning your panels or putting on auto hide. Uh, and then it talks about adding or moving the spacer, which by adding or moving your spacer is how you get your task manager in this location. And that explains here in the, in the show notes as, as well. It talks about the global menu uh, and explains here how to do that. Um, I don't go into detail about the latte dock, which would be uh, similar to the Plank dock, but actually it's more elaborate, uh, specific for KDE, and I have references on how to go about installing that. That I have not personally installed, um, but it shouldn't be that complicated. Uh, um, I've also installed Redshift. You'll see this little light bulb, and Redshift just allows your um, desktop to uh, use less blue light in the evening in particular uh, to uh, less eye strain so it's it's automatically will will go into using uh, less blue light in the evening and then it changes on its own as it progresses towards day daybreak um, theming um, I'm using a dark theme as you can see it's a breeze dark theme um, I also am using, I guess you pronounce it plast plastic, I guess. And what I've done is I wanted the um, this uh, dark, I guess it should say it's a dark blue. Um, and that's what is what they call the uh, color sheen. And so I explained how to, it's basically Obsidian Coast, which gives you this, this dark, I think it's a navy blue. Um, what else? Um, changing the cursor from black to white. Uh, the icon theme is what I wanted to show. I actually, uh, I find it a little more um, informative in, instead of the traditional KDE um, uh, icon theme or icon pack. I actually prefer the uh, the La Capitan or La Capitan. I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, and this explains how to install this, but to give you an idea what the uh, uh, the icons look like, um, you'll see here they're they're just rendered very distinct distinctly, um, and so to me it just looks a lot easier to you know, differentiate what what you're looking at, what type of file. So an MP3, this is a folder with the items in it, so you'll actually see contents. Although you, I think KDE does the same, but it just looks a little more, uh, it's more visible in terms of the, the detail. Here's an ISO image, uh, looks like that, a Debian file, uh, your MP4, HTML file, uh, text file, PDF, uh, there's another PDF, uh, JPEGs, once you've, uh, I think once you have search enabled, It'll just show you the give you a preview, or, or maybe that's just enabling a preview, I believe, so you can see the a small uh, thumbnail of of an Im of your image, um, and then moving on. Um, uh, what else? I guess I'll elaborate a little bit on the effects, desktop effects, um, the um, wobbly windows. So if I grab this and move it, uh, you've got your wobbly windows. Um, and it tells you how to, how to enable that. Um, one thing I notice is, um, 
you can play with your animation speed uh, with the compositor and that'll adjust uh, the effects of your you know any any of your effects will either be sped up or slowed down so but, but it's worth playing with that so you can get a sense what works for you and your system um, and I already explained the possible issues that I've noticed in uh, 5.16.2 uh, there may be others. Those are the two that uh, I had noticed. And then I've li referenced links down below. Uh, and partially what got me to, to actually do this video was uh, Bin Bash. I've got to uh, uh, reference him because uh, he's really went into detail of explaining how to do some customization and beyond what I've done or what I'm showing you here. But uh, this may be a place to start and if, if this is too elementary for you maybe move on to Ben Bash and there are other links also he explains the latte doc and then there's another link from Tech Republic um, I also show you some of my wallpapers and what I've used for uh, uh, login screen and also for screen lock so um, that's about it I think this was just kind of an overview but really to uh, to reference my show notes uh, just copy copy and paste the show notes as a reference for your own uh, um, use and uh, it'll make it a lot easier for you in terms of setting up your KDE distro so uh, that's the point of me sharing this today so uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day